President, please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Court officer, please usher the witness into the courtroom. Thank you. President, good morning, Madam Witness. Madame what is your name? Quel est votre nom? Witness, my Quel name is Mih Lai Hua. Mih Lai Hua. President, thank you, Madam Mih Lai Hua. Merci, Can you Madame tell Lai us Hua. when you were born? Quelle est votre date de naissance? Answer, I cannot recall my date of birth. Je ne me souviens pas Question, de ma date de how old are you this year? I answer, I am 57 Réponse, years old. Ans. Question, Question, where were you born? Où -vous né? That is the village, commune Quel and district village, of your birth. Où vous êtes né? Answer. I was born Réponse. in Barai district, Kampong Thom province. Barai, province in fact, it was Thom. in Balang commune. commune de Balang. Question. Question. What is your current address? Quelle est votre adresse actuelle? Answer. Réponse. It was in Tra. It is in Tras village. Village de Tras. Questioned. Question. And in which commune is Tras village located Dans in? Quelle commune se trouve le village de Tras? Answer. Réponse. It is in Balang commune, Dans la commune Barai, Barai district, district Kampong Thom province. province de Kampong Thom. Question. Question. What is your occupation? Quelle est votre profession? Answer. I'm a Réponse. grocery grocery seller. Questions, what are the names of your parents? Je suis grossiste. Quel est le nom de vos parents? Answer. Réponse. My father is Misarai. Mon père se nomme Meas. And my mother Rai. is Saum Won. Question, what is your husband's Question. name and Quelle how many children do you have? Combien d'enfants avez-vous? Answer. Réponse. My Husband is Pok so Chun and we Mon have three children. Pok so Chun et nous avons trois enfants. President, uh, thank Merci. you, Madame Mih Lai Hu. The greffier made an oral report this morning that, to your best knowledge, none of your father, mother, ascendants, children, or descendants, brothers, sisters, in laws, or husband is admitted as a civil party. In case it's also true, or is related by blood to any of the two accused, is this information correct? Answer: Yes, it is. Réponse: Oui, c'est exact. 
questioned, the Graffi also reported that you already took an oath before your appearance. Is that correct? And so, yes, it is. President, the Chamber would like to inform you of your rights and obligations as a witness regarding your rights. As a witness in the proceedings before the Chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any comment which may incriminate you. That is your right against self-incrimination and on your obligations. As a witness in the proceedings before the Chamber, you must respond to any questions by the bench or relevant parties, except where your response or comments to those questions may incriminate you. As the Chamber has just informed you of your right as a witness, also as a witness, you must tell the truth that you have known her seen, remembered, experienced, or observed directly in relation to an event or occurrence relevant to the questions that a bench or parties pose to you. And Madame Mihlai Hu, have you been interviewed by investigators of the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges? If so, how many times when and where? Quand et où? Answer. Réponse. I was interviewed once at the house of the village chief. President, thank you. Président, and before merci. you appear before the chamber, have you read, reviewed, or get someone to read to you the previous written record of your statement at the House of the Village Chief in order to refresh your memory? Answer, yes. President, thank you. And to your best knowledge and recollection, is the written record of your statement consistent with your statements you provided to the investigators at the house of the village chief? Answer. Please uh, repeat, President. Regarding the content of the written record of your interview, is it consistent or similar to the statements you made previously? Answer, yes, it is. President, thank you. And for questioning this witness, pursuant to Rule 81 base of the ECCC internal rules, the Chamber will give the floor to the co-prosecutors first before other parties. And the combined time for the co-prosecutors and the lead co-lawyers for civil parties are three sessions. And the co-prosecutor, you may proceed. Deputy National Co-Prosecutor, good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. And good morning, all parties. And good morning, Bonjour, Madam Witness. My name is Sri Ratana, a national deputy co-prosecutor. Co I have some questions for you. Questions à vous poser. Question. Before 1975, that is prior to 17 April 1975, where did you live? Answer, I lived in Troh village. Dans le village de Troh. Question. Question, can you uh, tell us further in which commune, district plus, and province uh, the Troh village is located in? Dans quelle commune et quelle province et district se trouve le village de Troh? Answer, it was Réponse. in, ba in Balang. Commune, commune de Balang, Barai district, district Kampong Barai, Thom province. province de Kampong Questioned. And what did you do at the time? Question et que faisiez-vous à l'époque? Answer. 
Actually, I stayed at home at the à vrai time. dire, j'étais au foyer à l'époque. Question. I mean, did you have a job at the time, or what were you doing Question. for a living? Ce que je voulais vous demander, c'est si vous aviez un travail à l'époque ou ce que vous faisiez Answer. pour gagner votre vie. Answer. I was a rice farmer. Je cultivais du riz. President, President, the chamber would like to inform the parties and the general public that public the hearing of this uh, witness is as of this uh, Mr. Lahiru is as a witness. <coughs> However, due to her health concerns, she requires the support from the. TPO representative, Mais en de son and as such, santé, Madame Chai uh, Maridan has been assigned to assist the witness during her testimony. And the Deputy National Co Prosecutor, Jim uh, Ariso. Co Prosecutor. And between 17 April 1975 and 7 January 1979, where did you live? And so I still live in Traha village. J'habitais toujours dans le village de Tra. Question. Did you remain living in the same village or were you transferred elsewhere? Answer. I can recall when I was relocated to Will Bring during the Chenla first movement. Questioned. Question. Please, uh, I'd like you to uh, make it uh, precise if you can recall that is the, the exact year, if you can recall it. Si vous vous en and what I'm interested here is the la between the period of the 17 April 1975 to the 7 January 1979. And that would be the focus of my questions. So please uh, repeat your answer, if you can recall the year, in between this period that is from 17 April 1975 to the 7 January 1979, which is simply meant during the Khmer Rouge period, where did you live? Answer. I lived in Traha village. However, uh, I was placed in a special mobile unit, so sometimes I was sent to work at the 1st January dam construction work site, or sometimes at the 6th January dam construction work site. Question. So you were placed in a mobile unit to work at the 1st January dam work site, and please tell us the year that you were assigned to, to go there. Answer, it was in 1977. Question, can you recall the month? Was it at the beginning of the year, in the middle, or at, at the end of the year? Question. 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 When you were sent to work at the first January dam work site, 
travailler sur le site. Had other workers been assigned uh, there Plutôt before uh, you arrived? Vous avez travaillé sur le site du barrage du 1er janvier ou du 6 janvier? Il y avait-il d'autres travailleurs? Answer all the forces in the mobile unit in the village were sent to work there. Tous les gens dans l'unité mobile du village ont été envoyés travailler là-bas. Question. And upon your arrival at the first January Dam site, did you see other workers? Answer: Yes, there were many. Réponse: Oui, ils étaient nombreux. There were many, many uh, workers. I could say there were thousands or tens of thousands of workers there. Il y avait des milliers, des dizaines de milliers de personnes. Question: And Question. did you uh, know where those workers had been uh, sent from? Et saviez-vous d'où venaient ces ouvriers? Answer: Réponse. They were sent from everywhere within the North Zone to zone come and work at the first January Dam work site. Sur le site du barrage du 1er janvier. Question. Question. And in your unit, how many uh, members? Combien de personnes y avait-il? And so there were hundreds of us Réponse, nous in the unit. Dans that is all the forces within the special mobile unit under the Balang commune de la commune were de there. Tout le monde était là. Question. Can Question. you please be more specific? Être plus précise? Do you uh, just state it? About the total forces uh, within a commune, and there were, thousands, uh, there were hundreds of, the, of uh, people from the Balang commune. And my question is ma question whether those uh, forces were subdivided into village forces or group forces? Answer. The forces were divided into uh, each uh, village respectively, and there were about 50 workers for villages. each village. Et il y avait à peu près 50 ouvriers par village. Question. So there were about 50 Question, uh, workers from each village. Does it mean uh, it is regarded as one unit per village? Y avait une unité par village? Answer, yes, it is. Réponse, oui. Question. In uh, document D166 stroke 38, Ian in Khmer is 00239932, and in English 00244166, and in French 00283911. You stated that there were 11 members in your group, rather 12 members in your group. What do you mean by that? Answer, 12 workers comprise a group. Question. And please, uh, what do you mean uh, by a group consisted of 12 workers? Answer, as I said, there were 12 workers which were assigned into a group. Question. So you meant you were part of a group of 12 Question. Cela veut dire Which que was uh, a smaller part of a, a unit, am I correct? Une fraction d'une unité. Est-ce exact? And say uh, yes. Réponse. Because oui. uh, the 50 person unit were, was uh, subdivided into uh, groups. En groupe. Question. And what Question. were you assigned to do at the work site? Quelle votre tâche sur le site de travail? 
answer. I was assigned to work in the mobile unit, and that was all. Dans l'unité itinérante, c'est tout. Question. And in that mobile unit, what kinds of uh, what kind of work were you assigned to do? Quel type de tâche vous confiez-vous? Vous confiez-t-on? Answer. We were uh, instructed to carry one cubic meter Réponse. of earth Notre per day for each worker. Cube de travailleurs par jour et par if one could finish earlier, that person si could rest. And for those who did not finish, they had to complete the quota before they could rest. Atteindre leur quota avant de, de pouvoir se reposer. Question and Mr. President. Question, Monsieur le Président. When I read extracts from the document. It seems that the witness finds it difficult uh, to follow it. Is it possible for me to deliver her previous statement to her? President, uh, Madame Mihlai Hu, can you read the Khmer language? Answer, no, I cannot read it. President, President, I think that is clear, Mr. The, uh, Deputy Co-Prosecutor. There is uh, no point of giving her the adjoint, statement because he cannot read it. Evident, qu'il ne sert de rien de lui remettre le procès verbal d'audition puisqu'elle ne peut pas lire. Question. Again, in document D one six six slash three eight at E and in Khmer is zero zero two three nine nine two nine in English zero zero two four four one six three and in French zero zero two eight three nine zero seven. I like uh, to make the following quote free translation. When you were asked about the first January dam, you said that, yes, I know, because the first January dam website was a hot battlefield. And my question is, what do you mean when you say, refer to it as a hot battlefield? Answer. It means that we had to uh, complete the work quota of one cubic meter of Cela carrying a soil per day, and we had to work through the night until the uh, 12 o'clock uh, midnight. Then we were allowed to rest, and in the morning, the uh, soldiers whistle, blew the whistle, and we had to get up early to work, and we could only Sifflet rest for meal at 12 noon. We were given the ration that we could uh, eat to our field, that is uh, uh, rice and uh, some du fish. Riz et du pour que nous à Sometimes we were given two fish on nous même deux for lunch. Pour le and that was the special reason for that uh, specific uh, battlefield, pour ce champ de bataille says spécifique, the witness. Dit le témoin. Question. Question. And also, uh, on the point that you just said regarding the working hours, and you also mentioned that in your travail, statement before the OCEAG investigator, that is in document D166-38 at Khmer EN at 0023-9930 in English, 0024-4164, and in French, 0028-3909. Said that the work Vous began at 3 o'clock in the morning and it continued until 12 noon. It resumed again from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. and at night time it started nuit, from 6 p.m. and continued until 12 midnight. From what you said regarding the working hours, you work about nine hours, uh, that is uh, during the morning. Le matin, from 3 o'clock a.m. until 12, and then 4 o'clock in the afternoon, rather 4 hours in the afternoon, and 5 hours at night. So the total number of hours is 19 hours. 
Is it due to these uh, long, extensive working hours you regarded the workplace as a hot uh, battlefield? President, witness, please uh, hold on. And Council Consum on, you may proceed. President, uh, thank you. Uh, Council, thank you, Mr. President. I object Merci, to this Monsieur question as it is really a leading question. Co-prosecutor. In Me. my opinion, this is back. not a leading question moi, as the witness already confirmed. The work site was a hot battlefield and she describes the, the working hours. And what I just uh, made in my last question is just to uh, total the number of working hours. President, uh, Deputy Co-Prosecutor, please move on or refresh your question as this is a leading question. Deputy Co-Prosecutor, Regarding the working hours, as you mentioned in your previous interview with the OCIJ investigator, is it like a constant general working hours during the time that you worked at the first January Dam work site? Or did it happen only for a special period of time? And please, if my question is complicated, I, I may try to simplify it. Let me know. Answer, uh, please uh, repeat your question. Pourriez-vous répéter votre question, s'il vous plaît? Le coprocureur. Question. You spoke about the working hours before the OCIG investigator that you started working from 3 to 12, 1 to 5, then 6 to 12 again. Is this a general working hours while you worked there? At the first January Dam work site, did you continue working following these working hours? Or were these working hours applied for a special period only? Answer. The working hours applied until the, the uh, conclusion of my work at the first century dam work site. Question. And during the Question. time that you worked there, were you allowed to rest? For example, between 3 a.m. and 12 p.m., were you allowed any break between these uh, times? Answer, no. Réponse, there was no non. rest time. If we, we rested, then militia si nous would nous reposer, ordered us to return to uh, work again. For example, if I had to take a, a short break under a tree, then a militia si man would uh, reposer, come exemple, and ordered me to return to work. Question. And what happened when you were thirsty Question. or you needed to relieve yourself? Answer, uh, yes, we were allowed to go and relieve ourselves or to go and uh, drink water because some people from the mobile unit would carry the water, drinking water to us so that we uh, could drink that water. Questioned. Question. How many minutes were you allowed, for example, to, to have a, a, a small rest uh, when you had to drink water? Answer, we were réponse. only given like five minutes, then we had nous to nous return to work again. President. Thank you, le Deputy Co-Prosecutor. Co the time is convenient adjoint. for a nous short, uh, for a lunch break. We take a break. 
and resume at 1.30 this afternoon. Court officer, please assist the witness in the room for the civil parties and witnesses during the lunch break and invite her to return to the courtroom again, as well as the TPO staff at 1.30. And security personnel, you are started to take a case and pawn to the waiting room downstairs and have him return to attend the proceedings this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now in recess.